I'm here at the Oxford Hotel with legendary jazz drummer Mel Brown. Mel, thank you for talking to me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. You were a drummer for a lot of famous people, a lot of people that we'd know, a Motown drummer. Right. Yeah, many years. Yeah. I and started in 67. Mm-hmm. And did, it was with Martha and Van Bell. Did you always know that drumming was what you wanted to do? Not really. Yeah. yeah. How did you, did I, you just I, get into it then? Well, I started in the seventh grade. Yeah. You know, and luckily I got the scholarship to college and uh, any college I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And I chose Portland State. Yeah. Because I had three, I was a jock. I ran track and I had a ride to go to U of O to run track and uh, I had one in football at Willamette. Yeah. But this guy's from down in Coos Bay, those guys are kind of big, so I decided to stay away from the sports because I wanted to have <laughs> broken bones and stuff and I just stayed with the drum. Drumming's probably a little safer. Oh, it was. <laughs> so you've been playing for so long, since seventh grade. Does it ever get old to you, or is the passion still there for you? It's still there. Yeah. You know, because I got, from, right from the get-go, I was really into it. Yeah. And I know that you play in several different, your groups have several different incarnations. Right, I've got five bands. Yeah. And so what is it about having that many bands? Do you just love the, the, the pieces that you bring in and these amazing musicians? No, it's actually the styles that I wanted to play. Because mm -hmm. for so many years doing the Motown thing, it was great, like with The Temptations and Smokey Robinson and The Four Tops and Stevie Wonder. You got to play the same music every night, yeah. the same way, because you got light cues. Um. And I wanted to play jazz, and there's different styles of jazz I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. But now having five bands, I see some of these people once a week. We're not around each other long enough to get ticked off at each other. So Which it's always good. a nice smile, so it's always happy. You're always happy to see each other. Mm -hmm. You're going to actually teach me, now I have to admit, I never played the drums, but are you familiar with the video game Rock Band? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Okay, so I'm a, yeah, he knows where this is going. So I'm a really good drummer on Rock Band, on mm -hmm. Easy, I should say, but um, my kids still laugh at me when I try and get beyond that. So would you, would you maybe help me a little oh, bit? Oh, yeah, let me show you a couple of things that yeah? you can relate, and the kids can relate to. Okay. All okay. right, let's go Excellent. on the drums. Let me All show right. you something. Now, before you pick up the sticks, what I'm going to have you do is take your left hand and do this. Okay. Okay, see how this is? Because you know how it is, if you have kids and you tell them, go to bed, oh, my mom, I'm gonna sleep right now, so they start making little faces on the yes, wall. Yes, they do. This is Donald Duck. <laughs> so you turn your hand up this way. Okay. And you put, take a drumstick over here. Okay. And I want you to put that in your left hand. Like okay, we're gonna put, there we go. We like take that? that third finger down. Curl that down there, all right. Oh, like that, okay. Keep that, like, you, like the Donald Duck type of a thing. Oh. Okay. So your hand is going to be moving this way. Okay. Now in your right hand, grab the other stick. And if you have a dad or an uncle who goes fishing, they cast. Gotcha. So what you do, this is a traditional grip. You say, does Donald Duck want to go fishing? No. Fish? No. Fishing? No. That's your traditional grip. I think I can do that. Okay, now just hit the drum like that. Okay. Put your arms down a little lower. Go ahead, just throw it yeah. in there. There you go. <laughs> but that's, that's your traditional grip. Okay. Now let's get the wire brush that you have down here. The brushes sound cool. They're quieter, and the parents love you for that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, now your left hand, let's get the brush over here in your oh, left hand. Okay. Same grip. All right, in your right hand, you still got that fish, okay. Okay. Now put the brush down on the drum head. Look at that like it's a clock. Mm -hmm. Let your left hand go up the left side of the drum till it gets to 11 o'clock. The right hand till it gets to one o'clock. If you're a fireman, what do you do? You grab a pole and you slide down. Mm -hmm. Push to 12 o'clock and it's straight down the drum. Okay, and you do it very slowly. When you push it together, but it's very light because the sound that you want to get is the sound of when you're at the beach with your family and you're hearing the waves come in late at night. Yeah. At 11 and 1 o'clock, push toward 12. Just shh. I want that sound of like an ice skater. When they stop, they push the back of their skate. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Did I get it? That, that's it. Not so hard. We want that sound to be there. Everything else is soft. The way. Yeah, that's it. When you come down, come down very softly. <laughs> so that's like somebody soft shoeing. 
because the tap dances. Yeah. She said, that, 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 shh, shh. Yeah. That's the sound that you get. Oh, I love it. Very cool. So that's how you play ballads, or you play with the sticks, and you get a much stronger sound. Well, and now I'm ready for my first band because Mel Brown gave me <laughs> lessons. So, Mel, thank you so much. You're quite welcome. Nice to thank meet you. you. Thank you.